hello friends welcome back so in the previous series of videos you have seen how to create an institute instance from management console you also from terraform then how you can terminate or stop an instance then uh, creating one role uh, to push the files from as ec2 to s3 okay so what's next in this video we are seeing how you can save more money in aws from s3 buckets so you may familiar that s3 buckets have different types or different standards uh, so one of the thing is glacia so most of the requirements which i see is moving or copying uh, the files from s3 to glacia so i'm not going deep into uh, a glacia technical part so in this video majorly looking how you can push move your files from s3 to uh, you know to glacia okay so yeah from the previous video uh, we already have one bucket it's a demo skynet 2020 and you already see that there is one uh, file which a demo file which we push from ec2 machine so what you need to do is you have to go to management and add a lifecycle rule okay so give a rule name so what i do so i will put it at this okay so what i want to do is if you have any prefix or something for the backup files or the name or the files you can specify over here so for now i'm just giving all the objects in the s3 bucket okay then click on that radio button and go to next and as there is no versioning i just put only the current version and i have to define the transition the transition means from where to what so transit uh, from s3 to glacier so i will click this for me this will be fine if you want intelligent tear or one zone one net tear you has you can specify that also or if you want to deep glacier you can specify that because for my requirement is s3 to glacier so i will put it here and uh, definitely this is uh, i will create a uh, one so um, based on your requirement like for example if you want four months to keep in s3 then you have to move this file to glacier then you have to specify for example if you want to keep the files in s3 bucket for the first 100 days and then you need to move this files to glacier in that case you have to put here 100 uh, because after 100 days uh, the files will be moving to you know moving to uh, glacier for the demo purpose i am putting it as one and here it's mentioning that uh, small files will cause the cost the cost part so i have to account acknowledge this and then put next and this is on the uh, type of expiration like as i have only the current config current version i click on the current one and you know after how much days it should expire from glacier so what i will do is i will put this as five uh, if you want to keep it as a 365 days you can specify as 365 days there and uh, here i will click here also and uh, check on the checkbox because this is something like when a incomplete multi-part upload happened so after seven days of it it will uh, remove uh, after seven days from start of update it will clean up those, those files okay so next and here you can see the you can review here you can review uh, what you have configured so this is the name uh, name of the role and it applies to all bucket and after one day it will move to glacier and after five days it will be removed click on acknowledge and then save so you can see the rule is created uh, you can see the rule is created so when you come here on s3 click on the bucket this file now it's a storage class is standard so basically after one day status of change to glacier so for the demo purpose i am not showing that but i'm 100 percent sure this will work and this is the way uh, you can able to move the s3 files in this way you can move the files from s3 to glacier so uh, so thanks again for watching the video hope you like the video please subscribe our youtube channel